So today I will discuss uh, one interview question and how to reverse the string in the Java. So basically, uh, this is you know very easy question. Uh, if you know the basics, so not a big deal you can do. But I am telling in my way, and in the real time, if you will get some uh, requirement to how to develop your code, then how to make it that. So we will complete. We'll discuss to make a functionality of this reverse string in the Java. So now uh, we will start this. Okay, how to write this functionality? And uh, this is my suggestion to you guys. If you are doing any coding, just make a functionality. Don't write simply one class and do that. Okay. So today we will understand how to reverse a string in the in Java and how to make the functionality. How to make functionality. So this is a requirement. So how to uh, start this functionality is nothing but we will make it the one method. That method you can use in your project anywhere. Okay. So now I'm going to start. Okay. So this is a class. Class is a keyword, and here we are writing the class name. So if you are starting your Java coding, so I am completely following the coding standard as well. So I am going to write here reverse, reverse a string, a string test. Okay, so this is my class name. So first we'll here I am little bit also explain you how to follow the coding standard. So when you are writing the class name. So first word will start from capital. If you have a multiple word, so ne next word will start from capital letter. You can see. So, so this is the class name. Now functionality means I'm going to make a method. That method is a reusable method. You can use anywhere in your project. Okay. So now I'm going to make one method. Public, a static. Void and I'm um, here also. I'm going to follow in the coding standard. Reverse a string functionality. Just I have written this, uh, you know, uh, method name. So we have to also follow the coding standard. So if you are writing the method name, so first word will start from lower case and second word will start from you know upper case so i'm going to take one parameter a string type s okay so now i make this method so little bit i will discuss this okay so what is this so public is a accessibility modifier okay a static is non accessibility modifier and this is your return type so we are not returning any value, then we will write the void. And this is your method name. Okay. And this is your parameter. Okay, we are passing this. So now I made this concern. So now what I can do? This is the a string I took. A string is equal to I took module. So this a string value, we cannot perform this operation directly. Okay, what I can do, this is string type, we will convert it to the character type, char array type. So we will have a method called chf, char array, ch equal to, this is the inbuilt class, a string is the inbuilt class which is available in java.line package. So inside this string, we have a method called to char array. Okay, this is the method. This method is, you know, what is the job of this method? This method, this string mohit will convert into the character type. Okay, so when you are writing this, M O H I T. Okay, so this will convert into the character type 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so now this a string value will convert into the character type. Okay, so now what I can do, this will become the char array. Uh, 
here we will use for loop. For loop in i equal to so integer type I took here. So this is the initialization part. So what I can do this length of the string. So length of the string is ch of dot length. So now minus one. I will explain each iteration i greater than equal to 0 i minus minus okay so I will explain it then just I'm going to print sop ln sop ln then ch of i okay so this functionality this logic we have developed this actually what is going to happen now I will tell you this is your uh, method name so here this curly braces close here. Now we have a public, a static, void, main, main method, and you have to call this method reverse a string. Reverse a string funks. Fun functionality. And here we are passing this is your parameter and this is your argument emoji. Okay. Now this we have developed this. But how it is working? So what happened? This Mohit is here. Okay, this Mohit is here. So it is, we have uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, M, O, H, I, T. So I will again explain this, this functionality, this will convert into the carrot type. This is the first steps carrot type second steps we have used here for loop third step is printing this value but how it is this functionality is working i will explain to you this a string type will convert into the carrot type okay carrot carrot type now i took integer type this int int value is length so what is the length of this array we have a length i equal to length is your 5 because it is a starting from index. So for, uh, for 5 minus 1. So here value is what? 4. So how this for loop is working? So this is initialization. This is your, it will check the condition and this is your increment and decrement. So first iteration will uh, start from you know only initialization it won't we go for this so here then i 5 minus 1 is 4 then control will come here okay now control is here then ch of i'm writing here ch of 4 equal to ch of 4 equal to t right t value then this 4 again the control will go here this is our 4 value. Then this 4 will become 4 minus 1. Right? It will become 3. Then again it will it will come here. Then it will become 4. Right? So it won't be over here. Here. It will come here. So it will check the condition. I is what? 3 greater than equal to 0. Okay. So now, now I is 3 this value again it will come here again the control will come here so now ch of 3 equal to what is this i then again this will become this will become 3 again this 3 value will come here 3 minus 1 okay so now 3 so again this 3 minus 1 is what 2 then 2 greater than 1 Again, this control will come here, ch of 2. So what is the value of ch of 2? h. Again, it will become 2, then again it will go, then it will, one again value will one what? Decrement. Dec so again, here will come 2 minus 1, and again it will come here, then ch of 1, 0. Again, it will come this iteration. I took 0. So 0 greater than equal to. Yeah, this condition will also true. Then it will print this. So this all this scenario is working like that. How this reverse string is working. 
so thank you so much for uh, this uh, session so we'll talk to you for next uh, functionality in the coming session thank you so much